what is going on guys, Miles here, back again with another video, and today we're going to be talking about more Call of Duty 4 Remastered, we have some more information about it which I wanted to share with you guys, which has been found on this leaked poster as you can see right here, in the bottom right it says you can pre-order the Legacy Edition of Infinite Warfare, which will also come with Call of Duty 4 Remastered, it doesn't mention any Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 3 which is a bit of a shame, but it does confirm COD 4 Remastered will be a sort of pre-order bonus uh, for Infinite Warfare if you buy the Legacy Edition. Now you see it costs $110 which is very expensive but this is actually a Canadian poster so that's 110 Canadian dollars which equates to about uh, 87 US dollars or 60 pounds if you're in the UK so that's not a bad deal in my opinion. Uh, that'll be about £45 for the main game and then £15 for the COD 4 Remastered Edition. So £15 for a remastered game is not bad in my opinion. But obviously if you just want COD 4 Remastered that is pretty damn expensive just to get it. Uh, it doesn't mention like getting COD 4 Remastered on its own. Uh, it only mentions being able to get it from uh, this Legacy Edition so you have to buy Infinite Warfare as well. Which is a little bit weird but I think they will uh, allow you to buy COD 4 Remastered on its own eventually probably at release so that is call of duty 4 um it also uh states some more information uh, in the bottom right hand corner it says how it's going to be a downloaded game like you're going to get infinite warfare on a disc and then with that disc you'll get a code to download in uh modern warfare 1 sorry so it's going to be a downloadable game unlike infinite warfare which will be a disc game and it also says that it comes with the campaign so that confirms the single player aspect and 10 multiplayer maps which is pretty interesting because uh, in the original Call of Duty 4, there's actually 20 maps, I believe, and four of them are DLC, and I'll go through them now. So, for the Call of Duty 4 maps, we have Ambush, Backlot, Block, Bog, Broadcast, Chinatown, Creek, Kill House, Countdown, Crash, Crossfire, District, Downpour, Overgrown, Pipeline, Shipment, Showdown, Strike, Vacant and wet work, and that is all the maps in the original Call of Duty 4. Four of those were DLCs. I'll find them now. Which ones were they? Uh, Broadcast, Chinatown, Creek, and Kill House were DLCs. So we have 20 maps there, and only 10 of them are actually going to be in the remastered edition. Now, I don't know which ones are going to be in the remastered edition. I'm going to assume the most popular ones, but if you guys let me know down in the comments below which uh, 10 maps you would like to see in the COD 4 remastered. Now, I don't think they'll include the DLC maps. That wouldn't make a lot of sense to me. It just doesn't seem right if they did include DLC maps. So I, I, th think, I think we can exclude the DLC maps, but then we still have six maps from the original game, which won't be in the Call of Duty 4 remastered. And... It's a little bit weird in my opinion, but then again, I didn't play a ton of COD 4, so I don't know the maps which everyone hated, or I didn't know the maps which everyone loved. I'm not too sure on that, so maybe there are like 10 really good maps, and then they're just going to get rid of the other maps which weren't so popular, and they might even sell them as DLC for we know uh, later on in the year. So that is the information we have on Call of Duty 4. We now know the price, and that's going to be single player and multiplayer, and I want you guys to let me know what you think of this down in the comments below, and also be sure to subscribe for more Call of Duty 4 information as time goes on, and I'll see you guys in my next video.